I want to do number 88 on the scav hunt list, which is hack the DEF CON badge at Hardware Hacking Village. Now here's the kicker. It's like a plastic badge this year. It's a non-electronic badge, and I have zero idea how we can do hardware hacking on it. So I'm gonna go find Bunny at the Hardware Hacking Village, which we're at right now, and he's gonna have to figure this out because I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's go find him. Bunny, I am trying to do hardware hacking on this badge, and I have no idea what could I do to do hardware hacking on this badge. Uh, let's see. Well, it's plastic, so if you get like an LED, uh, we can just kind of melt it all the way through and maybe glue a battery connector to the back and wire it all up, and there you go. So what do I need to find? An LED. Do you, do you have any of the stuff? Uh, you need to find an LED, a battery connector, and we've got batteries. Okay. I, I found an... No, those are mine. Nope, mine. Let's go find an LED. I am on a mission to try and hack the DEF CON badge. Bunny has an idea, but I'm looking for an LED. Do you have an LED? Any LED. It has to be through hole, though. Through hole, oh, okay. Um, what are you give me for it? My undying respect and love forever. I'll take what I can get. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what I got in here. Uh, we're, the, the crater that... Uh, no. uh, I think we might... Yeah! Will this work? Okay. That will work. All right. A multicolored, blinky, fancy one. Ooh. All right, let's go find Bunny. All right, good luck. All right, I found an LED. <laughs> How, what do we do next? Did you find this in the dumpster? Good Lord. <laughs> it's supposed to be a multicolored, blinky, fancy one, too. Oh, okay. Well, we should probably test it first. So let me go grab a battery. Okay. No, yeah. well, so this is gonna be low enough power that it, it should just be fine. Nice. Okay, so now, since it's uh, a plastic badge this year, we can probably just heat up the leads and jam it right through. I will volunteer my badge for a tribute. Okay. Now let's see if I can do it without destroying my iron in the process. I hope you realize how much I like you. I appreciate that. Let me get some solder on here, actually, to get some heat transfer. So you're saying if you just heat up just the LED, it uh, won't push through. The solder helps move heat through it? Uh, the solder helps transfer heat from the iron to the leads of the LED. Is it moving? I can't really tell. It doesn't look like, ah, oh, it doesn't look like it yet. It does look like it's melting, though. It's slowly going through, okay. That is awesome. This is uh, more of a pain in the ass than I thought it would be. I didn't realize solder would actually help transfer the heat, but it makes perfect sense. Yeah, it just provides more surface area from the iron to the actual leads themselves. Is the LED getting hot on your fingers? Nope, not yet. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's uh, awesome. So the problem is this big old hunk of solder right in the middle that is not wanting to come off. So how do you remove the solder? Heat it back up? Uh, yeah, the way solder kind of moves is that it has a surface tension and it will want to kind of stick to hot things. Okay. So let me look at the back. Yep, that's good. Oh, that's so awesome. now what we want to do is get some super glue, glue that to the back, and then we can wire the LED to this and drop the battery in it. Do you have glue? I do, actually. Oh no, it came, it came off the plastic. What have we learned? Thank you so Hot glue does not work at all. <laughs> <laughs> Hold and press. It only needs to last about 10 minutes, right? I would hope it for, I'd, I'd hope it lasts longer than that. 
A few moments later. All right, I got the battery holder. I think I have that. And then what, how do we connect the two? Do I have to do all the work for you? I, hey, I can do some of it. I just need a little bit of hand holding. Uh, all right, let me get some wires. Okay. Magnet wire, you know what magnet wire is? No. It's enamel coated, so it's basically not conductive in the state, but there's not a separate like plastic, uh, plasticized sheath on it. And the way you kind of remove it is you just kind of melt a little bit off. Uh, magnet wire is traditionally used for like motor windings. So if you ever open a transformer or a motor, it'll have you know a whole bunch of wires running around. Those are all enamel coated wires. Okay. Um, do you know which of the leads is the anode and which is the cathode? You've taught me this so many times, and it's gonna be a guess, and I'm pretty sure this is the cathode. Nope. Damn. Nice try, though. The short the one. The cathode right? is shorter. If I would have made a mistake with this wire... Wait, so do you not need... Oh, you're holding... Uh, holy cow, that seems... So you're holding the wire and the solder and the iron all at once. It's time. a little tricky. It's hard to do at this angle, but... <gasps> I can at least do this. So you kind of trick it where you put a little solder on the iron, then use that solder which is on the iron on the wire and then add more. Yeah, and I can hold it in place like that. Oh, it's hot. When I imagine you have to work fast too, or you're gonna be you risk melting the plastic. It's actually kind of difficult to melt off the enamel. You have to be very intentional with it. So it's not too much of a concern. So I'm, gonna... well, I'm, I'm saying melt the plastic oh, in the bag. I mean, that's not my problem. Don't use cutters to bend wire because you risk cutting the wire. <laughs> but here at the HHV, we don't follow the rules. And that is definitely not my best solder joint, but that'll hold. And then once more to get the positive side of the battery to the anode of the LED. And this, this is how I kind of do this one-handed. Like that. And then it's a little bit easier to just tack that down. Yeah, the one thing I do remember you teaching me is when you're soldering, you breathe out slightly and it will blow the, the solder smoke away from you? I mean, realistically, you should be using a, a fume extractor, but, you know, you just don't HHP. breathe it in. Yeah. All right. You want to do the honors? I saw life. Nice. And that is hardware hacking the DEF CON 31 badge at DEF CON. Thank you, Bunny. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. We now have checked off an item off the scav hunt list. Thanks for watching and hack on.